Right guys, how's it all going? Welcome back, hope we're all having a great day and we're all doing well. So in the past hour, some new information has came out about Ghost Recon Frontline. Now for you guys who don't know, Ghost Recon Frontline is a 100 player PvP sort of battle royale type of game. I made a video on it when it was announced, just basically talking about it, what my opinions were on it. Um, I'll kind of go through them again, obviously not in the same amount of detail, but I feel they are still relevant to the point in this video. So the actual new information is that the closed test for this game has actually been postponed. Taking to Twitter, Ubisoft actually said, we have decided it is best to postpone the closed test for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Frontline. The development team is dedicated to creating the best experience possible. We'll share details on the new date for the closed test as soon as we can. Thank you for your ongoing support. Now, of course, this could just mean that they had some issues in development and they felt like it wasn't ready to go on a closed test. That is a very likely reason. Or could it be that they have actually delayed this because of the negative feedback that the game has been getting since its announcement. When you look over all the medias which it has been talked about on YouTube, it has been disliked heavily, people are not happy about it on Twitter, the entire Ghost Recon community doesn't seem to be too fond of it either. What my personal stance is on this is I think it looks quite fun, I am looking forward to trying it out. I think a, you know, Ghost Recon game battle royale would work perfectly fine, I think that would be extremely fun, it's something I would look forward to. However, like I said in my other video, this isn't what Ghost Recon fans want, this should have been released a alongside a brand new Ghost Recon game, for example, rather than it being like labeled as the next mainline entry for the game, because you know, that's just not what Ghost Recon is. It isn't a battle royale mode. That's not what Ghost Recon fans want, regardless if it's good or not, which it probably is gonna be pretty good. I think Ubisoft makes solid games. You just aren't gonna win over your fan base though when you kind of throw in the main games to the side. I made the comparison last week when I was made the other video uh, talking about X Defiant. That game is actually pretty good. I played the closed test for it, the one you had to sign a NDA over. I thought it was a pretty solid arcade shooter. But the reason people weren't too fond about it is because it had Splinter Cell characters. And, you know, Splinter Cell fans have been dying for a new game for ages. So when you're gonna release games like this before a new mainline entry, people aren't gonna be too happy about it. If these sort of spin-off games, free-to-play games, shall we call them, are released alongside a new mainline entry or after, people will be much more inclined to give them a shot and probably be more fond about it. Because if someone's a big fan of Splinter Cell and they get a brand new Splinter Cell game, then X Defiant released, you know, half a year later with a Splinter Cell character in it, they may not like it, but they'll be less, you know, disappointed because they already got their mainline entry game. Whereas now, in the current situation, uh, that's the issue with X Define is Splinter Cell fans are wanting a new Splinter Cell game, but they're getting X Define instead, which isn't, you know, a Splinter Cell game. Same with the Ghost Recon fans now, they want a new mainline entry or DLC for Breakpoint, but instead they're getting a Battle Royale mode. That was the point I made in my last video. I'm not going to go too into it in this video because I can ramble on about it for hours and put that point across. You can go watch that if you want. I go more in detail on that. But that was my basic premise of this. That's the kind of issue I have with these free-to-play Tom Clancy games is like they're not bad in any way, shape or form. They're pretty solid games, but that's just not what those franchises need at this current time. And something else I want to talk about as well, there seems to be a trend recently specifically in Tom Clancy games. I want to say Ubisoft games, but it's more Tom Clancy games, but they're just not getting good feedback and they're just getting delayed and delayed. That seems to be a good thing on paper because that means they're listening, but I, I wonder how different the final products actually turn out. Talk about Rainbow Six Extraction, I know people are not fond of that in any way, shape or form. That's been delayed multiple times and you know, I think it's January's the next release date for that. Are people still interested in that game? Are, are they changing much? Are they taking player feedback into consideration? Because that is a full $60 game and from, you know, data miners and stuff like that and people who have insider information, that's apparently running on the same build like Operation Chimera was running on Siege and it still has the same bugs from back then as well. So it's it's pretty disheartening to hear stuff like that, I will admit. So um, yeah, maybe this delay of Ghost Recon Frontline has got something to do with the feedback. Maybe they just don't feel like it's ready to be shown to the world. Maybe they are going to change it up a lot. Maybe they're just not going to release it. I doubt that will happen, but it's pretty insane to see this stuff. Um, hopefully Ubisoft does learn a lesson over these past few years about what their community actually wants. And I like to think that they're listening, but it's really hard to say. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the delay of Ghost Recon Frontline. Are you guys even interested in this game? I am i don't even know. I think it looks all right, but who knows? But yeah, guys, have an incredible rest of your day. I love you all. Stay safe. Catch you later.